Okay. There was a movie I watched, and this is a metaphor. You better pay close attention. The movie Ray, about Ray Charles's life, when he was a little boy and lost his eyesight, and he went completely blind. Listen. Think of God. As I tell this story, the, for those of you who feel like you're in limbo, who, who, you pray your heart out, it just seem like God ain't saying nothing. He's just, play, you know, doing the silent act on you. He just don't know what's going on because he ain't, he ain't making anything plain. He's just standing off to the side watching you yap, 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 and you feel like you're doing it all in vain. Talking to the air. Well, listen, what happened? Ray fell. He was running and he fell. He did something and he fell and he started crying, waiting for his mother to come rescue him. What did his mother do? She stood in the doorway with tears running down her face, fighting the natural tendency to want to go and pick your baby up and coddle him. But she knew in her mind, this is not, a coddle is not going to do him any good. I've got to be quiet right now because I'm not going to be here forever when he falls through his life. She is silent. The silence is deafening. But then the silence brings out revelations. And the boy, wondering why his mommy won't come, he's crying and crying. And then he realizes it's quiet in here. I'm the only one making noise. And he's looking around, can't see anything. He's blind. So he's peeling his ear here and peeling his ear, trying to hear for his mother. But he doesn't hear his mother. What he hears is a cricket, a cricket crawling across the floor. Now he starts to forget the fact that he has fallen and his mommy's not there. And now his attention gets shifted and he's, he's zooming in on the sound of this cricket. And he's fascinated now. And he starts crawling and trying to f follow the sound. And he finds the cricket, he picks it up and he holds it and listens to it in his ear. Now, the mother was so glad that she didn't go and get him. Because what ended up happening, which happens to us in life, sometimes through the silence, other revelations come that we would never have gotten if somebody had spoken up too soon. There are things that can only be learned, that can only be gained, that can only be reached in silence in darkness. And what God ends up doing is turning up our antenna through those times. And we learn, we grow. We can't see it. The boy wasn't aware of the fact that he, he crossed a hurdle at that moment, a major hurdle. He didn't realize it, he just a little boy. But his mother realized. Now, when you go through stuff and you are talking to God and God is totally silent and you feel like you're yapping at the walls in your house and God ain't thinking about you and doesn't care what you've got to say because he's got better things to do and bigger fish to fry. You stop that. God is working something in you, working something in your life, working something in your psyche that can only happen in his silence. Trust in God's love when you can't trace his hand. You don't have a clue what the heck he's doing or why. Trust God's heart for you.